RG500s are very interesting engines, as we all know. And one of the features of this two-stroke engine here is it does a very unusual thing, is that it uses the transmission oil to lubricate the inner front crankshaft main bearings. The rear crankshaft bearings get all, get all their lubrication from the two-stroke oil like is normal in two-strokes. <clears throat> but the RG500 and 400 front crankshaft inner main bearings gets their lubrication from the same oil as the transmission. So Suzuki recommends that you use motor oil, regular motor oil in the transmission. They call for 2040 uh, at Rick Lance's recommendation. I always use this stuff. It's Valvoline VR1 Racing Oil 2050. This stuff is cool and gamma's because it's got a, at the top of the label it says high zinc. That's really good for the gears. It's 2050. 50 is good for having uh, lots of protection when it's hot. And it's 20, so that means it still works good when it's cold. So this oil here will work great in RG500 transmissions and lubricate the front crankshaft bearings. A friend of mine was Pat Hennon, and one of the things he said about raising his RG500 in Europe is that he had to change the gearbox oil all the time. All the time. So you change your gear oil all the time, constantly change it because of the crankshaft bearing thing. Now, one of the features of Gammas is that they've got two drain blocks for the tranny oil. Right now, you can see both of them. The one that the, the look everybody sees is the big one in the back. You look through the pipes, and there's this big thing back here, and that looks like a, you pull that out, and you get a bunch of tranny oil out. The one everybody misses is the one that's in the front. Okay? It's hard to see. It's up between the pipes. It's a pain in the ass to get out. You have to put a long extension on your socket to get at it. But it's really important that you pull that one because it is actually lower than the other one. And it's closer to the crankshaft that collects more grit. So you want to pull both of those oil drain plugs. And then when you're filling it, the big deal is how much oil do you put in? Well, it varies depending on whether you uh, just did a rebuild, you're changing the oil, or even if you're just topping it up because you've been running it in hot weather a lot. You run it in hot weather a lot, but tranny oil will just evaporate out through the breather and get low, and you need to put some more in. Now, this Gamma's got something that is really common to two-stroke dirt bikes, but really weird on street bikes, because most of them are four-strokes and people haven't seen them. But right here on the clutch cover, there's this bolt and no people can't figure out what it is is that's the oil level bolt. You pull that bolt out and then once you've got the bike on a stand so it is vertical, you use a, a tranny, a filter you got for transmission oil from a car parts store because it's convenient, it's skinny and small and fits right in the hole. And you pour a bunch of motor oil, pour a bunch of oil in until it starts coming out of the hole. And then you just let it drip out the hole into a drain pan until it stops. And then you've got your oil level set and it's always set perfectly. So that's how you change the tranny oil in a Suzuki RG500 or RG400.